My name is Katarina Radovic. I'm a freelance photographer since um, 2006 when I graduated in Belgrade Academy of Arts. And uh, at the moment we are standing in the cultural center of Belgrade Gallery Art Get, where I can show you my uh, second solo exhibition that is taking place in this gallery. The exhibition is called uh, Until Death Do Us Part, uh, Weddings in Europe 2009-2010. And um, it, uh, the work uh, has been going on uh, since, uh, for this exhibition since uh, January 2009 and it's still ongoing because I'm planning to do a book, a monograph on the subject. Uh, the initial idea is about the wedding uh, ceremony and the, wed and the wedding day and what it implies uh, altogether. I looked for couples uh, which are cross-cultural or for couples that um, um, are immigrants in, a, in some countries of Europe from a different continent, for example. Uh, it is interesting to see how some uh, traditional customs uh, appear to be shared between two different cultures in, in, a, in a way that one culture makes a concession for another and uh, I have some cases, uh, I photographed some cases where, for example, something completely new happens out of um, an old uh, custom, like, for example, a Vietnamese uh, wedding dress uh, in a white color, which is an unusual um, thing in Vietnam, but in Europe it becomes normal because European ve wedding dresses are always uh, white. One of the most um, extravagant weddings was actually here in Serbia and it's a Roma wedding uh, in a village near Belgrade which lasted of course uh, three days minimum and uh, the couple arrived in a helicopter and everything was organized for uh, 1000 and something uh, guests in a big tent with uh, air conditioner and the red carpet and everything but I must say the funny thing was that um, it was all done a little bit clumsily because they uh, the helicopter landed in a wrong field and then the, the bride had to fight with her high heels on some irregular ground and it was funny because the husband didn't really help her a lot with her dress. For me the best atmosphere at the wedding was uh, actually uh, was in two gay weddings that I photographed, quite by chance it was a gay wedding. Uh, in the first case it was a wedding between two girls in Amsterdam, one was Scottish, the other uh, American and um, the atmosphere was really great, one of them was a cabaret dancer and uh, I must say that the weddings that last a bit short, not the whole day and whole night, uh, then they can be a bit more effective and a bit more um, amusing and uh, you really feel like staying there until the end, not to yawn until the next morning and hope to go home. But um, in that way, I think uh, that uh, Amsterdam wedding was one of the best. And also because in this um, environment where I live, uh, it's not yet uh, common to have, I mean, of course, they're not recognized gay uh, marriages. So for me, it was a new thing to, to witness. And also it was um, really uh, good to see how nobody had anything against, not, no member of the family or any person present had anything against, but uh, on, on the other hand, they were really so, so happy, so I was happy too.